everybody welcome to the channel i appreciate you guys for clicking on this video today we have a couple of cool effects hopefully that will help you out in your post-production work and now i don't want to waste any of you guys time so let's get right into it okay so we have this clip of estg right here and uh, this effect is used in a lot of his videos we're gonna add keyframes so let's have a playhead in the beginning right here and let's just add a keyframe to the beginning, to the position, and to the scale. So we're gonna move a little bit in our timeline about right here. And we're gonna boost this up right here. Move it again. We can actually hit this transform so we can move it that way as well. Boost it up a little bit more. And you can move this anywhere you would want to, according to the footage. And when we get to the end, close to the end, we want to bring it back to where it was, so... I think it started at 113. And it said zero. It said zero. All right, now let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty cool right there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of touch to it. So we're gonna go to our effects tab right here. And we're gonna go to blur and we are going to go to Zoom Blur. As we drop that on there, we're gonna press Done right here. And when you see this icon, that's when you know the Zoom Blur is happening. So we're gonna put it like by his face. And we could turn the amount down just a little bit. But we are going to add keyframes to um, this zoom effect so just scrub through the timeline and try to match it as best as possible You bring it down a little bit if you want to. Now let's play that back and let's see how that looks. That looks pretty cool. Now, we are going to go to the blur tab once again. Actually, I'm sorry, we are going to add a shape mask to this. And when we add the shape mask, we are going to We are going to hit this icon right here and we're gonna to go to invert mask. So that makes everything outside of the circle 
uh, have the blur effect. All right, so. Now we will be keyframing once again. So start our playhead at the beginning. You can just adjust this as much as you need to. I'm not gonna do it perfectly because I just wanna get through this tutorial for you guys, but you're gonna keyframe right here on the shape mask and just scrub through and just follow wherever his face is, or you can just target his mouth or nose or anything you want to. down a bit let's play that back and let's see how it looks done very very cool effect to make this effect more powerful we can turn up the amount of zoom to make it look like there's a lot going on so about 52 now let's play it back that looks really cool And you can adjust it to your liking. Like I said, the more blur, uh, the crazier the effect. So let's check out 95. Nice. And that is one of the effects um, that is in the majority of ESTG's music videos. Hope you enjoyed that one. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, for the next effect, um, we want to have kind of bright and vibrant colors for this uh, effect and just to go through the clip is our scene right here and what we're going to do is we're going to bring we're going to go to the generators tab and titles and these are my uh, psychedelic um, generators and you can get those in the description below this there's four of them it comes in a pack and what you're gonna do is place that under the clip. Um, and if you don't wanna get my psychedelic generators, there's probably some you can find online, but here you put the generator on the bottom of the clip and try to make sure that everything is even. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to click on the top clip and we're gonna go to our effects tab and we're gonna go to keying and we're gonna go to keyer. So we're gonna drag keyer on the top clip. And as you can see, the effect is already working. So we're gonna play this through. And as you can see, there are lines going through his body and that's not what we want. So I'm gonna put our playhead in the beginning. We're gonna click on the top. 
layer, uh, the top clip, and we're gonna go to fill holes right here, and we're gonna boost that all the way up to about 10. I'm gonna play that back to see how that looks. Yeah, that looks really, really cool right there. But what we're gonna do to make it even look even cooler is we're gonna go down to our generator at the bottom and we're gonna add a keyframe. I'm gonna just go to the end of the clip, towards the end of the clip, and we're gonna bring the X down to about negative 0.1. And now we're gonna go back. This is gonna be really cool. Now let's play it back. Now the effect is moving a lot. And that's a really, really cool effect right there. So yeah, you can do that with the generator. I'm gonna show you uh, one more that you can do with the generator. Let's choose that one, the second one. Let's bring it down a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding keyframes to this one. I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna go down a little bit right here. About 0.42. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play it. Let's see how it looks. Very cool effect. Very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If this video helps you in any way, consider liking and consider subscribing because we will be dropping a lot of content soon and you want to be the first to check that out so do that and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you soon